Hello there and it is another match day vlog and it is another match day vlog against Wolves for what feels like the gazillion time this season. Um, I think it's going to be a very nervy game for anyone that watched the Palace one. I do think it might be a bit boring like that as well. But hopefully we get the win and go on to United on Sunday with a little bit of a boost of confidence and I'll also be at United on Sunday too so I'm getting in. Um, but yeah before this game we've got a little bit of positives we've got Ibu Kanate is back love the man we've got Darwin Nunes hopefully back from shoulder injury that's two massive lifts for the squad I think Palace at the weekend we definitely missed Darwin um, and like I said, it's a boring game because of it. Um, tonight, fingers crossed, we get the win. I do think some players will be rested. I'm just not sure on who. Um, if anyone caught me last night on Tuesday night, I was on LFC Day Trippers, and I was actually the only person who didn't put Simicus in the squad for tonight. For some reason, everybody else believes Simi is going to be playing, so I have got me top on that has his name on the back, just in case, so I can cheer him on. But, yeah, it's it's going to be a weird one. Also, speaking of Simi, um, someone did get drawn as a winner for the top. Unfortunately, they've asked me to redraw, um, so, yeah, there'll be another draw for the winner coming up, so keep an eye out for that. But, yeah, I'm going to... Obviously, go out to Langfield, get my year Ross. Absolutely love it from La Ross. La Ross have got a store now um, at Hotel Langfield, and it is now my new guilty pleasure favourite thing to eat. I think my local chippy is probably wondering where I've been because I'm constantly getting La Ross, year Rosses. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go and see the coach come in, hopefully. But yeah, like I said, Go out and check out LC Day Trip as I was on their channel yesterday. I've also been on the Rose End pod, which is run by Dom. And then I've also been on Dave's LFC chat. We had a little bit of a live chat the other day. So go and check them all out because they're really good to watch. Um, but yeah, that being said, let's head to Anfield and we'll talk a bit more team news and everything when we get it. Just looked at us all. <laughs> Team news is out. It is Allison. Trent Alexander Arnold. Canate is back. Um, Virgil van Dijk. Costas Simicus also starts. So everyone on the LFC day trip was last night was right except me. And usually I'm always saying Simi so. But I have got his top on tonight, which hopefully brings us a bit of luck. Um, then in midfield we have Fabino, um, Stefan Badgetich, um, Harvey Elliott. So uh, there was a few shouts of that on day trip was last night, which I am surprised. That to be honest, that is actually what's being gone with. And then up front is Salah, Nunes, and Jota. So um, really surprised Gakpo is not starting, and he's gone for Jota and Nunes with them both. Like obviously Nunes has just had the shoulder injury, and Jota is coming back from injury as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's a pretty decent lineup, especially when you think we've got United coming up at the weekend. Um, resting them few key players could be really good, especially with Gakpo being in form. Obviously, I expect Gakpo will come on at some point tonight. In all honesty, but yeah, promising. Now I'm gonna head in. Fingers crossed we get the three points. The nerves have kicked in, um, as they have done all season. Now I am super nervous, but it's also freezing. So please give us an exciting game, Reds.
Oh, we're Nunes again. CAR, we're checking it now. The ref's actually gone over to check so we're all trying to see what's going on. Liverpool take on Wolves for the final time this season. Finally, after however many games it's been, it has been too many. But we get the 2 0 win. Buzzing. Mo Salah and Virgil with the goals absolutely made up for Virgil. The passion and the celebration afterwards. Oh my god. Simi with the assist for Mo. Love to see it. Um, Gakpo in the build up as well. So that was really good. Um, but yeah, it is a. Hopefully. Better start to next weekend. I'm so nervous about that, so I'm not going to speak about it. But yeah, it was a pretty decent um, game. I thought. I thought the first half being very similar to a lot of our performances this season. Just couldn't seem to finish within the um, the last touch of the ball. To be honest, but it was a lot better than what we've seen. To be honest, especially after that the Palace game the other weekend, just too boring. That but. Yeah, we've got the three points, which may think at the end of the day. Um, Stefan got the card, but I still think he's really promising. Um, genuinely think he might be one of our best players um, to come from the youth side, which says quite a lot. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, my head's now just completely on Sunday, and I can't see my shake it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's nerves. I don't know if it's excitement. I don't know if it's confidence. I don't know if it's worrying. It's just a mix of emotions. I think a lot of us Liverpool fans are feeling right now. Um, definitely think Robbo's back in the team on Sunday, and I honestly think Gakpo starts. I think that's the only reason he was rested. I was quite shocked when I saw the team news tonight. Gakpo wasn't in the squad. I genuinely do believe he gets a start, and I said it while I was at the game tonight. Genuinely, wouldn't be surprised if Jota scores at the weekend. Um, I think it's just building up to him getting a big goal in a big game and I think Sunday might be a brilliant comeback from his injury it would be so really good to see Konate back as well he did have a few wobbly moments during the game but he is like a really good centre back for us so hopefully that was just a bit of a shake off of the injury but yeah really good to see him back but yeah like I said my mind just set on Sunday now which I will be at so there will be a vlog coming from that. Um, hopefully we get the three points there. We need it. We need as many points as we can get now to try and get back in Europe. Um, but it's going to be tough. So yeah, I'm also really cold and knackered after that game because it's been rainy all night. So yeah, that being said, I'll see you all on Sunday.
Bye.